Hi, everyone. Recently, I've been doing a lot of work with both um, DOS and Linux VMs in QMU and VirtualBox, and I've had to power up and power off these VMs quite frequently. This is very easy in Linux because there is a uh, power off command. And when you do this, the system will cleanly shut down and then the window will disappear. And so this is very convenient for troubleshooting, etc. In DOS, there's no such thing. There's no power off or shutdown or reboot, etc. You can hit control delete to reboot, but there's no command that you could execute uh, by default. So I figured I could actually create one. So I've got a directory um, C colon tools and it's in the path already. So I'll create a file called poweroff.com using debug and I'll enter the assembler with A. I'm not gonna explain exactly how this code works. Uh, we'll look at that in just a second, but I'm gonna enter it in. Okay, and then I'll set register CX to B, which is how many bytes are going to be in this com file. And you can tell because that's the difference between this address and this address here. Okay, now there's a poweroff.com file. And if I type power off, the system will actually power off. So that's very convenient. Okay, so how does this actually work? Um, this is an APM command. And so it's basically sending a set power state command on all devices to um, off, which is three here, and then calls the uh, interrupt 15. So that's effectively how that works. It's very short and easy. It's, you know, 11 bytes um, and pretty convenient. So as a kind of a bonus, uh, we could do a, a reboot as well. So similarly, I'll create a reboot.com file. This looks a little bit different. Um, what this does is actually uses the PS2 controller and sends a byte out to the uh, status port. This is even shorter, it's only four bytes. And if I type reboot, the system will reboot. In fact, there's a whole bunch of different strategies for rebooting. So um, you could use an ACPI reset. That would be preferable, although it's a lot more code to do that. And there's a few other ways. Um, in fact, the way that I've just done it is this um, 8042 keyboard controller. Um, so it's really not even a reboot. It's more like a reset. There is another way that's more like a reboot, which is this far jump to the reset vector. And this is actually the method that a uh, reboot.com from Netware used, written back in 88. And I'll just show you what that looks like in the debugger. So if we unassemble that, you'll see that all it's doing is clearing interrupts and then doing the jump to that reset vector. And if we try that out, yeah, it works very much like the reset. It's probably a bit more of a gentler way to do it and maybe a slightly better way too, you could think about it. Right, that's it. Thanks for watching.